Hi friends, this is Mohammad Jibran and welcome to our C language tutorials. In this video, I'll be explaining you about uh, a program to check whether the given number is a palindrome or not. So, first begin opening with our compiler. Select a new source file. So, what is a palindrome? Suppose we have two numbers, 121 and uh, 123. Right? If I write this 121 again, in the reverse order so first I will write this 1 then second number is 2 and then the first number was 1 so right now this number is in reverse order which is exactly same as the original number so we call such numbers as palindrome whether if you see in 1 2 3 in our case the last number is 3 second number is 2 and the first number is 1 the reverse of this number is not same as the original number so we don't call this number as a palindrome but 121 is a palindrome okay the examples of some more palindrome are triple one triple two or four seven four likewise if you you can make any number uh, i hope you understood what is a palindrome so if you understood what is a palindrome then we can start writing a program to check whether the given number by the user is a palindrome or not. First, we'll include our header files, u dot h, then our main function. Within that, we will declare some variables, say n reverse. Let me copy it because we're gonna need it many times. Its value initially will be zero, and then we need a temporary variable to store our values temporarily then in printf enter the number to check now whatever the number user gives we will store that in our n and n fine now I'm storing that number in our variable n now I will say temp will be equal to n the value which is stored in n that is the value given by user has now been transferred in the temp value okay temp variable now I will be using a while loop which will check whether your temp is equal to 0 or not it means unless your number has values or numbers in it then till that time it will work your reverse should be equal to reverse into 10 by this thing for the first run oh, your uh, reverse value is 0 as you can see over here so for here your it will be 0 into 10 will be 0 again your value will be 0 so for the next run what you do is reverse equals reverse plus temporary modulo 10 likewise uh, like this you will get the last number and uh, you add that number to your reverse suppose right here your reverse value is 0 because here your zero reverse is 0 here again your reverse is 0 so 0 into 10 will be 0 again so your reverse value will be 0 for the first one then over here as your reverse is 0 it will get added with the temporary that is your number given by the user it will get divided by 10 and the last number will be added to your reverse string okay so your uh, this reverse has now the last number suppose uh, your number was 123 the first number by this method you will be getting is number 3 the last digit you got over here and you add it to reverse then after that you will say temp will be equal to temp by 10 by this you are getting the remaining digits except the last digit so the number which will be getting is 1 2 okay so now this is your number you are done with this thing and uh, if you repeat this thing again your 2 will come out it will get added over here and it will be placed here and then again your 1 will be removed from here and it will be kept over here so likewise your reverse number will become 321 while your original number was 123 
so now let's do a checking say if n is equal to equal to reverse okay if your n the number stored in n is equal to your reverse number then it should say that the number is a palindrome now let me write that number so that the user can see which number he has given that is you can say n or reverse whatever you can say but this time you can write n then else if it is not a palindrome then your program should say that the number is not a palindrome and that number is d n fine so now let's end our program by just hit ch run your program save it uh, semicolon we lost semicolon oops remove this now control f9 yep was successfully compiled suppose my number is 123 the number is not a palindrome why because if you remove if you convert this it will say 321 therefore it is not a palindrome so let me make it more good looking so that it's easy to understand the number given by u percent d is not a palindrome as its reverse is i'll say reverse okay so if it is a palindrome it will display the number if it is not a palindrome it will give us the both the numbers the number and the reverse of it now i will say again 123 the number given by you 123 is not a palindrome as its reverse is 321 fine now let me give a palindrome number uh, let me say 121 the number is a palindrome okay and uh, you can again manipulate the string if you want to say and display your reverse string also Uh, let me say we are we are let's see reverse the number given by u is a um, d is a palindrome as its reverse is again percent d is this thing fine now run it again uh, let me say 313 the number given by you 313 is a palindrome as its reverse is 313 okay so that's how you write a program to see uh, or to check a number is a palindrome or not so hope you understood the program and thanks for watching the video